So I wanted to tell you about my belated birthday present. I sent out a wish list. Actually, I don't know if you've read my blog, but we celebrated my birthday. And later on, I realized we haven't celebrated any other birthdays in the last 12, 16, 18 months almost. So it wasn't really fair that we celebrated my birthday and we should be celebrating each other. On the other hand, it was the first time I didn't have a birthday cake or any candles. So it was a bit different. And the point was, as most of my children even, when we celebrate birthdays now, their birthday wish is no gift. It's just that we come together because we really appreciate the family time, the time that we can spend together as a family. But I did send out a, my wish list, which I had on Amazon. And today, Joseph came home from work with this, which is, if you don't know, earpods. So I've actually got these earphones in because apparently my microphone here on the camera is not very good. So he brought me these earphones because I listen to my phone sometimes and I want to listen to some audios and yet when Joseph's in the other room or when he's on the phone it's a bit disturbing so it's very convenient to have earphones and my earplugs did not work I think the um, the jack in the phone is faulty because it used to wobble a little bit and I would occasionally had had a couple of syllables that it didn't really work properly. So I had given up on it and then it occurred to me one morning in my buddy's meeting when I saw Daniela with her pod, bod, pod in her ears. I thought, yeah, these things should work. They're cordless. So thank you. That was my belated birthday present. And it just got me thinking about technology, you know. I was reading, reading. I can't even say I really read the instructions. There was a little diagram, a little piece of, um, yeah, maybe I should even show you. Let me just go on pause and I'll get it. So this is apparently the instructions. I wasn't even sure whether it was the instructions or not. And so I went into the internet and searched for, and it is called the instructions. And it's a diagram, oops, okay, you can't see it when I'm on virtual background because it sees it as a virtual background. So, <laughs> I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the virtual background off and um, go to no background so that I can read this. So this is, now I can't see what I'm showing you. This is the instructions. And I guess for a 20 year old, it's perfectly clear what it means. I don't get it. I don't understand what it means. Let's not, come on, clarify. Give me a clear picture. Please give me, so I think that's 0 0.5 seconds. You can't really see that. Okay, so that, anyhow, that's the instructions. And I think that anybody who's grown up in this digital age um, would probably understand it. And I consider myself a lifelong learner. And I'm very grateful that I've managed to even get to this point to have these uh, ear, what are they called? Pods, 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 ear pods. And what I've been preoccupied with today is actually recovering the old Women's Federation homepage, which was created with front page. And I'm totally confused by all of the files that are there. I've got no idea how it's structured or how it was supposed to have worked. So on the one hand, I'm I'm proud of myself for being prepared to continue learning 
and to invest myself in, in this area, I want to retrieve the records of the Women's Federation. And I really feel we should be offering much more to posterity and to young people today to really show them what we're all about and what we have done in the past as well. And on the other hand, I think, well, it's just as well that that program doesn't exist anymore because it was just so messy. And I can't believe how children today are growing up that who was it? There was some meeting. Or was it? Oh yes, it was on on Sunday night. The missionaries were talking about their time in the 70s and 80s, how when they were in an undeveloped country, not only was there no internet, there was no phone, and there was no way that we could reach out and ask for help or communicate with one another or Google something. And these are things people growing up today take completely for granted. And people my age, when we tell our story, I think it is important to point those things out. And so on the other hand, a lot of people my age, I think of one particular friend whose birthday today, happy birthday, Marie Therese. I know you won't even be watching this. So some people who are not interested in getting into using the benefits of the modern technology at all, sometimes for fear of being exploited. And don't get me wrong, I, I know that there is a lot that's bad and evil and wrong. And I'm as prepared to fight against that evil as much as anybody else. But I just don't believe that the answer, the way to do it is by denying it, avoiding it, and retreating from using those tools and instruments. I've said before recently, and I'm going to reiterate it, that I'm on Facebook, on YouTube, I do search Google, I'm on Gmail, and I'm on WhatsApp, and I'm on Telegram, and I'm on Signal. And it's not because I think that they're all safe and okay, it's because I don't want to leave them to all of the thieves and crooks and and bad people. And I'm a follower, I would say, of Bob Proctor, who teaches that you need to have a higher frequency and then you will attract those people at that same higher frequency and you will attract the things that you want at that higher frequency. And so that's my contribution in making the internet better. I'm there. I'm on WhatsApp and that's helping to raise the standard and I really believe it's important for people, for good people to do good because all that's needed for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing and women. That's that's my message. So get in there and do the right thing and believe in what you can do and every single person, yes, you can do something. You can make a difference. I can. You can. We can. That's it for me today. <laughs>